It's been one week since the school shooting in Texas, the latest in a string of deadly confrontations that's left students and teachers across the country living on edge. Today, teachers in Attica took part in special training that will prepare them for almost every scenario they now face in what many are calling the new normal. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley shows us. As we've gone through several tragic incidents across the nation, we've come to recognize that we have to update our protocols and procedures. In today's world, teachers can no longer enter the classroom and just focus on reading, writing, and arithmetic. They have to also be prepared to act as first responders in a shooting or mass casualty incident. In trauma patients, the number one cause of death is uncontrolled life-threatening bleeding. Since Columbine, there have been several deadly school shootings, and that's why Attica Central School teachers took part in special training today, sponsored by Mercy Hospital, called Stop the Bleed. We don't know what's going to happen day to day, so being prepared for that in any way possible is important. It is much more than basic first aid. And I just have to keep telling myself it's okay, and then afterwards, when they're alive the next day, we did a good thing. EMS professionals taught the teachers how to properly insert special clot-making gauze and their fingers into a gunshot wound to save a life. And then we're going to move our finger around and try and get the sides and we're going to come back out of the hole and we're going to push it back in again. The correct use of advanced tourniquets was also covered. The object here is that you're creating direct pressure on top of the wound. But the drug epidemic is also taking many young lives, and teachers were required to search a simulated teenager's bedroom to find 54 hidden drug items. Look what's in here. It was an eye-opening experience created by the Genesee Council on Alcohol and Substance Abuse, as many drugs were found in watches, picture frames, false water bottles, deodorant, and even highlighters. I've never seen this before. So that's in your child's highlighter in their backpack or on their desk at home. The school district is also looking to update teacher go bags to make sure they include supplies for shootings and mass casualties as the evolution in school safety continues. In the village of Attica, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News.